Lollipop is here. What's going on YouTube? It's Barn from AndroidAll.com, and today I've got a treat for you guys with the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. So uh, today the first Android Lollipop build for the Note 3 has been released. So in this video I'm going to show you guys how to install it and uh, I'll also give my initial impressions. So um, this ROM was ported by, uh, by Jama2367 on XDA. So go to XDA and hit the thanks button and show the developer some love. And also don't forget to uh, donate to the developer. I'll leave links for all of that in the description. So. Um, one more quick reminder before we begin, this ROM is still in the alpha stages so expect to see uh, some uh, major bugs in the system. So I have uh, been playing with the ROM for around 2 hours and I didn't face any um, deal breaking issues. So um, you can still go ahead and flash it and see if it uh, fares well for you. So um, without uh, wasting any more time, let's go ahead and start the installation process. Alright guys, so before we begin, first uh, turn off your device from whatever ROM you're on and then hold the up volume, power and the home button at the same time. So now you will be booted into the recovery of your choice. So uh, in this video I'm, I'm using Fills. I highly recommend Fills because it's really stable for the Note 3. So um, when you're booted, uh, use the volume buttons to navigate up and down and the power key to select. So first go to backup and restore and uh, perform a backup to SD card or SD card 1 to backup to your external SD. So uh, first make sure you have a backup. So then go back and um, perform a full wipe. So select wipe data slash factory reset. Now uh, give it a few minutes to complete the wipe. So when the wipe is complete, uh, then go and select wipe cache partition. So uh, then go to advanced, uh, click on wipe with cache. So now go back and go to install zip, choose zip from SD or SD card 1. I have it in my external so I'll go with SD card 1. So now you need to open the place where you have the ROM files. So uh, next you need to select the CM12 zip file and uh, hit on yes install so the installation process will take around um, one minute so once the installation is complete press anywhere and you need to again go back to the same folder where you have the rom files so now you need to select the gapps file so you select the gapps file and hit on yes install so uh, the gapps installation will also take around another one or two minutes so once the installation is complete, press anywhere and go back and then select reboot system now. So now your device will reboot. So the initial boot after a ROM installation is uh, usually uh, longer than the usual boot time. So I'll fast forward this process. So now you see the signage mod boot screen. So this will take around 5 to 10 minutes. Don't worry your device will boot. So once uh, the initial boot uh, screen is uh, shown you will be greeted into the welcome screen so now you need to just uh, skip through the all the initial settings let me quickly uh, log into my wi-fi and uh, then uh, finalize the first few uh, initial steps Okay, the initial uh, setup process is now complete. Now uh, you are booted into uh, Android Lollipop. So this is the brand new home screen and this is the brand new notification drawer. So let's boot into the settings and uh, check the Android version and the build number. So the Android version as you see is Android Lollipop. So tapping on it uh, reveals the Android Lollipop and uh, holding on it uh, loads the Android Lollipop game.
now let's uh, quickly limp through the apps so this is the dialer app for android lollipop so you also have the ripple effect when you tap, uh, touch on a number so this is the contacts app also uh, redesigned for material uh, material design so the messaging app is just a random messaging app but you can install the material me messaging app from the play store i'll show you guys that uh, a bit later so this is the calculator app and it also has all the material design uh, effects so guys if you have installed this rom you will see that the multitasking tray is not working so to get this uh, working you need to go to uh, the buttons in the settings and then select for short press or long press uh, when you press the menu button or home button so I have set it for the short press in the menu button so as you see the multitasking works flawlessly the cellular networks are also working so you can use 4G LTE or um, 3G on your phone Alright guys, so I uh, took a few minutes and I went to the Play Store, I installed a few apps and uh, I've been playing with this uh, ROM for a few minutes now. So I have been pretty happy with the performance uh, and uh, all the material apps are making me go crazy. It's so awesome. I also installed Chrome, so um, as you see AndroidDollar.com has been loaded. So this is the lock screen. So we have uh, the traditional lock screen with all the um, notifications as well. That's pretty much it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to smack the like button and the subscribe button down below. So uh, if you found this video helpful, why not share it on social media networks. If even others who have the note today will find this video useful. Uh, so stay tuned to adorall.com for the latest in tech. And uh, I will talk to you guys in the next video.